Casey, I'm sure it is a tough week with the news of the cancellation of the NCAA tournament. What do you tell your team and, and, and how do they react? Well, there's a natural disappointment, you know. I mean, everybody had great anticipation for what was coming around the pike with uh, Selection Sunday and sending us wherever they were going to send us to play a great team. And, uh, you know, when you earn that opportunity and, um, and then you don't get it, there's, you know, there's some natural disappointments that go along with that. But um, we try really hard to reflect on the things that, um, that we should be grateful for in the season that we had, and which included uh, a lot of great moments for this program. And so um, those are the things that we talked about today. Where does that spirit of thankfulness come? Because I, I, I don't know that every team is, is thinking the same way. Yeah, um, it's a good question. But, you know, I mean, I, I think um, coaches are always talking about the journey, you know, and, yeah. and day to day and just living in the moment and things like that. And this team um, in this program has always done a remarkable job of that, in my opinion. And, uh, and so with the inevitable you know, kind of ebbs and flows of the season, you know, good moments, bad moments, wins, losses, you know, and you get to the end of it, if you can't clearly reflect upon, you know, what that ride meant, yeah. uh, and it's easier when you finish on a high note, yeah, you know, and you, you win. Um, but this, this group has really held together well, and there's, there's so much to be uh, appreciative for and thankful for. How did they hear about the news? Same way you did? Cell yeah, phone? they probably knew about it before I did. Yeah, yeah they, social media is uh, <laughs> the way that it works. You know, it was uh, once it hit, it, it spread quickly. So, yeah, we, we didn't even get together yesterday um, or Thursday. You know, we, yeah. we, we got together this morning and, um, and said our goodbyes, really. You mentioned you, you left the court. One, one, one second you're on the court practice for the NCAA tournament, then you leave and the season's over. Is there anything you can compare that to? I mean, how tough is that as a coach? No, I mean, the, kind of the abrupt nature uh, mm -hmm. that this happened is, um, you know, is definitely uncharted waters. We knew that there was a real scenario that the season would be canceled or the tournament would be canceled, but, but all, our only choice was to practice as if we were going to be playing games and get ourselves as ready as we could. And then, you know, and then so, yeah, we, we finished practice and separate, and then the news comes, and now, you know, here 24 hours later, we're, um, you know, we're, we're packing our things up and going home because the school is not open. And so not only is our season over, it's uh, we're separating, uh, you know, and it's come to it's, a, it's a, some finality in the whole thing. What was the mood like of the team? I know specifically Tyler Scanlon didn't come here to go to the NCAA tournament, but knowing that he did punch that ticket and not be able to go, I'm sure it's tough on a young adult. Yeah, he's the he's. Um, He's the one of our three seniors that uh, that didn't get a chance to play. Uh, Seth Adelsberger and Michael Binkert both played in the NCAA tournament last year. And, and Scan knew that coming to Belmont would give him a chance to play, a good chance to play. And um, he had a lot to do with our ability to get there, uh, yeah. making that uh, game winner, but having a great season in general. So he's disappointed, but he's as matured as, uh, he's, as any 22-year-old you're ever going to find. And so he has, a, he has great perspective on the whole thing. He's... He feels great about his time at Belmont. And you had the perspective that you got to play your conference tournament in Evansville the week before most teams play their conference tournament. To end it on a high note, yeah. I mean, that, is there some solace there? Yeah, and, yeah. another reason to be thankful. Yeah. You know, I mean, there, there are um, a lot of teams that um, didn't get to play their conference tournament. There are a lot that played and lost. <laughs> yeah. And there are very few that, get, that got to play them and see their ultimate goal, you know, come to fruition, which is to win that conference championship and have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And so. You know, nothing will be able to take away that memory of Evansville and, um, and the win over Murray State. And, um, and so, you know, if that's our last memory, then we're living a pretty good life. Yeah. Did, did you leave out hope that, that, you know, maybe not cancel the tournament, but postpone it? I know there's been a lot of talk of that this week. Yeah, there was so much up in the air. And, you know, naturally, you know, our, our, if it were left up to us, it would have been play the tournament. And then if, it, if we couldn't play it right away, then suspend the tournament. And yeah. if you can't suspend it, then the only option left is to – is to cancel it, and that's the one that we got. And uh, you know, th those decisions are in the hands of people that are so much more um, competent than we are about what's best for, you know, for the country at large. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when you start thinking about basketball games and and, and NCAA tournaments, it's, it pales in comparison to the greater good. I know you're a man of, of, of great faith. How, how do you use that faith dur during this time with, with your own family? leading this basketball program and, and how you go forward? Well, there's really no better time to exercise your face than in moments like these, you know, and that's, um, that's what a believer, being a believer is all about is, uh, you know, is, is understanding that um, whether good or bad, um, you know, that God's in control. And, cool. um, and, and, and we have so much to be thankful for. Um, life's going to have disappointments. Um, you know, this is a life lesson uh, for all of us. And um, how we handle it is, um, is our only responsibility at this point. Spirit of thankfulness, a strong man. Congratulations Thank on you. the season. Appreciate Coach. it. Thank you.